welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today we are going to be opening up my snack crate for the month of june 2022 if you don't know what snack crate is it is a box with snacks from around the world each month is a different country and we taste the snacks and I'll let you know how it is. Apparently you have to open the box and take out the snacks that are inside, not just bite the box. You know, it's, it's not very tasty. You know, I started to try. No, so. Hello, if you are new here, my name is Jennifer. This is my husband, Aaron. I usually do lots of makeup material on my channel, but we also open up subscription boxes. This is usually the only like non-makeup one that I do and I also do talk about mental health issues sometimes. So if you're into any of that, I would love it if you would hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. So let's crack this open and see which country we are going to be tasting today so interesting we are going to be going to Chechia is it not Czech Republic anymore no Czech Republic is known, form known formally as the oh okay formally they mean formerly formally <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it is formally. Oh, it is formally. And formerly. Formally as the Czech Republic and formerly as Czechoslovakia. Gotcha. Okay, okay so it's the Czech My Republic. Bad. My bad. so, yeah, or Czechia. Okay. Czech. And located in the heart of Central Europe, known for its rich and extensive extensive history, stunning castles, and well-preserved medieval architecture. This ever-evolving nature has seen it all. It has. Okay. So yeah, and they have snacks apparently. <laughs> Which really is one of the, the hallmarks of a modern nation. Okay, then they give you a little... <laughs> The Czech people consume more beer than any other country, with an average of 188.6 liters per capita. Germany? Come on. I mean, you know, I knew we were not, and apparently we're not, you know, where are we on that list? I mean, I try. I don't think we're anywhere even near Germany. I guess we're not. Okay, then I give you a little list of treats that you could get and we could have gotten a drink upgrade to Kofola and this soft drink has been on has been a hit with the Czech people ever since 1960 and is made using a mixture of 14 herbs and fruit juices to provide its unique spice flavor but we don't get the soft if drink. If I learn anything from that pavilion of sodas around the world that they had at Epcot Center is that other countries have very differing ideas of what constitutes a refreshing soda drink. I don't know if they still have that at Disney or not. Uh -huh. Okay. I remember that one was like from, from Italy or something that was called Beverly and it was really bad. Okay, from the company called Bohemia, we have something called Krupp Key. How do you say that? I have no idea. I don't even know what those little accent marks mean. Okay, that's too reflective. Okay. I'm bowing out on this one, you know. I don't know what a Czech accent sounds like. I don't know how any of the letters sound. I just, you know. Okay, can you read about it? A perfect blend of sweet and salty, just nutty and delicious puffed corn snack is made with crushed roasted peanuts providing an extra crispy mm. texture. Look like puffed peanuts. Really? Tastes like peanuts. Tastes like puffed peanut. Full of peanutty goodness. Oh, very salty. Well, you know, they like their beer, so that makes sense. Um, I didn't really like it that much. I should have gotten a beer and, beer and 
you know, take these as good as they are good root beer. I don't know if you saw it, but it looks like death. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, these names, we're not going to be able. What are these? Wait. From Hobzovi, Strez, Nikki. Feel the love with family made potato chips. Crisps, sorry, crisps. Produced using the only finest potatoes in the field and dusted generously with extra garlicky seasoning. <laughs> Several of these things say they have garlic in them. They must like that too. Looks like this. Okay. Into the abyss. Again, very salty. Very buttery and very garlicky. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> too much? Kind of too much. <laughs> I kind of like it. I eat that. I eat that? Yeah. But you haven't tried the Jojo. Jahudki. <laughs> Jahudki. Jahudki. Yeah. Looks like something up there. Let's try it. Like a jumbo jelly bean, but even better. A firm shell surrounds a soft, chewy, strawberry-flavored center, coated with sweet and slightly sour sugar. I don't know that. Uh, look like this. It's little eggs. Yeah. Okay, Daddy. That just was just pure sugar. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. It's like it's it's not bad, but it's a little too close to just eating an egg of sugar that was pressed together. It wasn't even that sour. No, I didn't taste any sour. You want another one? I would still eat it, but they are like real sugar. I had a tiny bit of sour. Something else from JoJo. This is called Vex Pear. With bright and fruity flavors like lemon, orange, apple, and sour cherry, these soft jelly foam candies will have your test buds begging for another bite. <laughs> they're squishy. Yeah, they're very squishy. It's like a gummy bear. Sort of. Or like Just if, with a different texture. Or like if you took a a starburst and crossed a marshmallow with it. Yeah, it's just got a more marshmallow texture to it. Let's try something. Med Betty Chesnack. Ooh. It looks like pretzel sticks. This garlic infused <laughs> wheat pretzel sticks crunchy texture and salty savory flavor profile will pair effortlessly with your favorite frosty beverage. I think I know what they mean. <laughs> On guard. It, it wasn't crunchy like a regular pretzel. Yeah, not super crunchy. Sort of like pretzel garlic breadstick. Yeah, more like a breadstick. But it was garlicky. Mm-hmm. And salty. Oh, there's a lot in here. <laughs> okay. Brunette. Brunette duo. This looks like something we've had before. So this tasty bear-shaped cake consists of two classic flavors. One side is filled with rich chocolate, and the other is loaded with sweet caramel. Yeah, this looks familiar. Yeah, we've had this before. Apparently, this is a, a multiple, multinational hit. The head of the bear. <laughs> you have almost sponge cake. Yeah. Treat. I, it, was, it was okay. I mean, it's kind of like the whatever version of that was that we had in a different box. <coughs> I wasn't that big of a fan of that either. Lentil cake. Deliciously smooth chocolate pieces decorated in a brightly colored sugar coating made for sweet and satisfying treat, perfect for sharing or not. I think we can assume the odds are like M&M's. Pretty much. Let's move on to something else. Recycle me. <laughs> okay, let's try Sajoe Resi. 
I'm sorry if I'm saying things wrong. Also known as soy slices, this cylindrical soy-based confectionery was first produced in 1959 and has remained a staple for the Czech people ever since. That's oh, we guess. definitely haven't had soy slices. So it's just a big, big log of soy, huh? Mmm. Mm. Yeah. No, thank you. Mm. You know, I was I was going along with with most of this up until this point, but uh, uh, Czech people, this is, this is where you lost me on this one. <laughs> I'm sure it's delicious. It's just an acquired taste. What do we got here? No, Pedro. Mm, everything's mm. in Czech. <laughs> is that our name? Somebody get canceled if we sold that here. <laughs> Little guy in the sombrero. <laughs> Is this on there? Made with real fruit, the sweet, sour, and tangy flavors of these chewy strawberry ribbons will leave your mouth watering and your eyebrows raised. What we get to? Oh, it was a helpful translation of it here. Sour strawberry flavor belts. They were sour. Mm -hmm. That chewy belt texture. <laughs> so this is what this is what people in Czech Republic think that people in Mexico or possibly Spain like to eat. <laughs> okay. Traditional now, flavor belts of Mexico. I might as well get a try <laughs> to pronounce that. Is that? Uh, this this unique snack. <laughs> Features thin and crispy hand rolled baked wafers smeared with melted butter and honey and filled with sweet vanilla cream. I like things that are smeared with things personally. Would you share one? Oh, it is filled. Goodness. Alright. I don't like that. That was unique. That wasn't bad. It, it seems like it's like something that you would have with coffee. Yeah. Like those like those kind of crunchy flavor, you know, things, you know. It has a weird aftertaste, yeah. Right? If there was such a thing as a vanilla sugar taquito, that would be it. Yeah. I would say though. Hmm. Not bad. I'm kinda rich. You, you would think it would be like those pyroline things that we have. You know, that come in that come in that tin. Yeah, that's kinda what I'm thinking of. You would but think it tastes like that. It's a little softer than that. But it's though. really soft. It had a lot of cream in it. Yeah, it had way too much cream in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have these look like chocolate. Chocolate cookies. Cookies. Shortbread cookies with milk chocolate on. Yeah. Practically everybody has one of those in their box, it seems like. It's a universal thing apparently. Oops. They'll stick together. <laughs> Traditionally, they are served all stuck together in a big flock. <laughs> and that's what they look like. Pretty much what you would expect. Yep, that's your basic uh, shortbread cookie with chocolate on the back. I like to have that with some coffee. <laughs> And then last we have this. No. Get a taste of tradition when you bite into this rich honey gingerbread cake complemented Ooh. by a sweet blueberry filling and coated in a layer of milk chocolate. That sounds like a lot. That's wow. what it looks like. bit of the blueberry. Yeah, I don't really taste too much of that. There's a lot of gingerbread in it. Yeah. It wasn't bad. That would be good with beer, I think. <laughs> so that is everything in our Czech Republic box. Let's, what was your favorite? Let's try these real quick. Okay. Yeah, I like some of the sweet sweet and sour-ish gummy kind of stuff. And um, I like 
chips and I like this the, the chips and the little pretzel log things weren't bad. You like that the best? Huh. Yeah. I always say the best for last time. Well, these are bigger than M&M's. Oops. Aren't they the same size? Well, they're a little bigger. Yep. I guess they're like M&M's. Slightly different chocolate. Well. Not bad though. It's okay. I can wait best say that this was our least favorite. Yeah, thing. I don't I don't like that. <laughs> We're reminding too much of the um, of like a coconut texture too. Oh, I didn't taste like coconut. No, but it's just the kind of I don't know. Did you find it did you have a favorite? Um probably is. Because I couldn't stop. sugar Because I couldn't stop eating them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And I'll leave us a comment down below. Do you get this box? What do you think you would have liked out of this box? And we hope you are having a wonderful, fantastic day out there today. And if not, we hope something comes along and kickstarts your day so that you can have a wonderful, fantastic day and weekend this weekend. <sighs> you can't stop eating. And if you're having an especially hard time, know that we are thinking about you. Yeah. And sending you out those good vibes. May your day be full of strawberry fruit belts. And just remember to stay strong and stay healthy and stay safe out there, especially this weekend. And, okay. And we will see you in another video tomorrow. Just stay well until then. Okay. Goodbye.